In this video, uh, we're going to learn uh, hidden markup chains. And uh, um, in reality, hidden markup chains uh, is very common. Um, so let me draw uh, a diagram here. What happens is uh, we have a markup chain and a sequence of this uh, signal. So, for example, this is our time axis, then uh, this is our markup chains. However, the um, problem with this is uh, the states of this markup chain is not observable. But the good thing is, uh, at every time step, we're able to observe a signal based on uh, this uh, state of this hidden markup chain. Sorry, this should be S. All right, and uh, um, and this is observable. And now let's see, uh, before we uh, move, move, move on to the detailed um, notations, and let's first see uh, this example on textbook, which is 4.44. And it says a form. Um, we have a markup chain, which models a production uh, process. It has two states, uh, state one and state two. Uh, for state one, we have, uh, if we ask state one, we have 0.9 chance of a go back to itself and 0.1 chance to jump to state two. And if we are at state two, and uh, uh, we have probability one to return to uh, state two. And moreover, um, this state 1 is a good state, and uh, state 2 is what we call a poor state. And good and poor is uh, based on the fact that uh, if uh, xn is 1, it means we're in a good state, then what happens is um, this production process, the production, will yield a acceptable and acceptable uh, quality product with uh, probability 0.99. However, if we are in the poor state, um, the uh, acceptable rate is only 0.96. So, um, This acceptable versus unacceptable, this product, and is our uh, observation, or say signal. It is uh, in the sense that um, we can observe whether this product coming out from this production process is acceptable or not, but we cannot directly observe uh, the state one or state two. Okay. And now um, let's introduce some notation. Uh, for example, first one is the signal. Signal is we use S, and signal at n step is either um, acceptable or uh, unacceptable, which is 
unacceptable. So acceptable uh, we use A and unacceptable we use U. And the conditional probability of Xn being 1 of uh, this product is acceptable is 0 0.99. All right. And similarly, we can write down this probability. This is uh, when x is, n is 1 and uh, the production quality is unacceptable, is then uh, 0 0.01, which is 1 minus the rate bar. And similarly, we can write down Sn is n when uh, Xn is 2, given and this is 0 0.96. And this is then 1 minus 0 0.96, which is 0 0.04. And uh, uh, in general, we use this notation. That is uh, um, S capital S sub n equals little s, given xn is j. And we denote this by a little p s j. First, we have to acknowledge the fact that s sub n is not a uh, marker chain because its conditional uh, probability is not um, rather given on itself, but it's dependent on another process, which is our hidden the sub Markov process. And uh, um, moreover, however, we do have the following fact, that is, given um, the production at a previous time steps. Okay, for example, uh, we know that uh, xn is j, but we also know x n sub 1 is blah blah blah, and s, what is s n sub 1, and uh, until x1 s1. And this is the same as the uh, um, probability of s sub n is little s and uh, x sub n is little j, all right? Given the setting of this hidden uh, marker chain, uh, the setting, this equation is pretty obvious because if we draw, let's say, if we draw um, a sample path for uh, this model, Example, uh, we initially were at state 1, and we move on to state 1, and then we move on to state 2, and then we stay at state 2 forever. So for example, the signal um, emitted by this state may be the first one is unacceptable, the second one is acceptable, the third one is acceptable, and this one is maybe unacceptable, and then it becomes acceptable again. And keep this in mind uh, whether it's acceptable or unacceptable. This unacceptable product only depends on uh, like the state at time 1 and similarly this acceptable only depends here and uh, uh, this acceptable depends on this state and similarly and this uh, relation. Then um, we have some questions uh, to ask. Based on this model, it's perfectly reasonable that we are curious in the following question. For example, uh, we observe that the first three items produced 
have a quality acceptable, unacceptable, and acceptable. Okay, we have the, the first. Three products are of quality acceptable, unacceptable, and acceptable. And we are curious of the probability of the state of our production process. For example, if we want to fix it, because um, if it moves to this poor state, it stays there forever. And we want to know if, uh, I mean, without human uh, intervention, but uh, here, uh, if we have a high probability that this production process is in the, the state, and uh, we should stop the production process and fix it. So that's like the original motivation. And therefore, the question to ask is, uh, uh, given the observation, what is the probability of this production process is in it in this uh, good state let's say state one that this uh, production process was in the good state When the third item is uh, produced, okay. this is a first reasonable question to ask. The second type of uh, uh, reasonable question to ask is, uh, um, without any observation, let's say uh, we just have this uh, production process, we know these probability. What is the probability of first four items are all acceptable? 